Hello everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video guys I'm going to show you how you could delete the Windows old folder. Maybe after you have done an upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7 or Windows 8 you have realized that you have a file called Windows old and you cannot delete it if you try it using the old method. And also this folder is occupying kind of big space in your computer and not allowing you to use it. It's usually ranked between or it ranges between 5 gigabit up to 100 or 200 gigabits so to delete this you will have to go again to your PC shortcut you click on local disk C with the right button of the mouse and you select properties next you click disk cleanup and we will just wait until the analysis are completed now we are just going to click uh, click uh, on OK or on clean up system files so clean up system files and you will wait new analysis will appear again and you will have to wait a few seconds up to few minutes even 10 minutes until the analysis are completed once done you will you will have this little window opening i will invite you to scroll down to the bottom where you can see the windows old folder it's usually appearing under windows update and it has the windows icon in blue so I will just scroll down in the same time selecting other or deselecting other files. So keep scrolling down and here I have it and it has an allocated space of 16 gigabit. If you want to know what is useful for, you can go ahead and open your Windows 10 settings and you can, or you can type in the search loop settings. The next we will just click on the Windows and we will select recovery. And here you can see that we have go back to previous version of Windows 10. So basically the Windows old folder allows, allows us to go back to previous build if we click on get started. By deleting it, you will not be able to go back to previous build. So now I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And I will have this folder just deleted. Once done, I will not have this go back to previous build option available anymore. So I'll just reduce. I will click OK. And I will just go ahead with it. Delete files. And we will have to wait. I will just then click yes again. Because it's asking me if really I want to delete those system files. I will just go ahead and click yes. You can read the whole message or you can just skip. And we will have to wait again. Once the operation completed, you can just go ahead and, and click to close this little window. However, if you check, the file or the folder has just disappeared. Now I will go back again to my local disk C. There is no Windows old file anymore. As you can see, I am going through, so there isn't. Now I'm going to go to check if I still have the option to go to previous build available again. So I'll open the settings, Windows update and security, backup. It will take a few moments to load. And as you can see, I have totally lost the option to go back to previous build. I hope this video tutorial was helpful to you guys. If you are still in need of help or assistance, you can always leave us a comment or send us an email. Thank you guys for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.